another Matt CST question involving percents. A sofa sells for $520. If the retailer makes a 30% profit, what was the wholesale price? So the wholesale price is the original price. Original price. The retailer, if that word throws you off, it's just the person who sold it. Uh, person who sold. Person who sold the sofa. So we have to think about this like an equation. Let's break it up to three parts. The sofa sold for $520. So they took the original and then they increased it, increased it by a certain amount. And then they got the price they sold for, sold for. So what do we know? We know how much it sold for and we know how much they increased it by because they made a 30% profit. So the way you can think about this is they took 100% the original price and they made a profit of 30 percent so that'd be a total of 130 percent so they increased it by 130 percent now the question is what was the original price that they increased it by 130 percent by let's just call that x for now because that's what we're trying to figure out right what is the wholesale price now let's change this percent into a decimal and then we just need, and then we can use our calculator to solve our final answer. So 130% as, as a decimal is 1.3. Again, to go from percent to decimal, all you have to do is take your percent and move the decimal point two spaces to the left. So one, two. So we have 1.3 is equal to 520. So now we have x times 1.3 is equal to 520. I want to get, I want to solve for x, so I want to get x by itself. Since x is being multiplied by 1.3, I want to do the inverse or the opposite, and I want to divide by 1.3. And because this is an equation, if I divide by the left side by 1.3, I have to divide by the right side by 1.3. On the left, the 1.3s cancel out, and all I have is x, just like I wanted. And on the right, we'll do 520 divided by 1.3. And if I use my calculator, I will get 400 dollars. Why not? And that leads us to answer choice A, 400.